I'm going to start it off with the Roswell, New Mexico crash of 1947. And this is like alien stuff, I guess. Okay. So, a um, little, bit, little bit weird, but basically um, there is this unidentified object that crashed into this farmer's like land. And he couldn't really describe what it was made of for a while. And then like a month later, he brought it to the sheriff of the town like some pieces or whatever and then the sheriff brought it to the military leader um marcel was the colonel marcel was his name Mm -hmm. um and marcel was actually so surprised himself that he told the newspaper it was a flying saucer and this is the colonel guy so that proved that the government wasn't behind it because he would have known or he would have went and picked it up because it was a month after it crashed so whatever it was um, then, yeah, so then the next day, William Blankard, don't know who he is, but he uh, issued a press release and uh, said it was a flying saucer. But then the next day, he issued another press release and he said, um, he or most people believe he was forced to say that it was a weather balloon. Okay. So, basically the thing is, though, is that the weather balloon is so much smaller than what the guy described the whole crash to be. What do you guys, What do you guys think? Do you think it was something else, or do you think it's a weather balloon? I mean, I don't know. It's. I mean, he's going back on his word. If he said it's a flying saucer, now he's switching it back to weather balloon. But like, I don't know. I don't really have this enough detail of the story to like actually form like a solid opinion on it yet. So yeah. I mean, I'm kind of interested to hear like what what else there is to it. Yeah, I've got a little bit more. What are you gonna say? Some I'm more? a I'm a man of devil's advocate, so I like to think yeah. of the supernatural and stuff. So, right, yeah. I honestly think it is, in fact, a flying saucer. Yeah. They, uh, obviously, they didn't have the, te- like, the detection technology back then. So, they had no idea it landed or else they would have came and picked it up or whatever it was. Um, so, and I also researched what weather balloons are made out of. And actually, they're not, from what the guy described, he described the unidentified object um, and that it, it was kind of like rubber strips, tin foil, really tough paper, and black sticks. And weather balloons are made of latex or th- synthetic rubber. Huh. So they're usually around, this says 0.051 millimeters thick, which to me doesn't seem like tough paper or thick black sticks. Yeah. Wait, is there so, any, is there no footage of this or anything? Because I did not look at any footage. I don't think there was, but I could be wrong. Um, I just read articles. I didn't look at I didn't look at footage, but um. So who was talking in the press conference again? Back in it the was time? it was a Colonel Marcel was the first guy, and then Blankard was the second guy, and both colonels are military leaders. Hmm. So now they said it was a UFO, but UFO does not mean extraterrestrial. It means an unidentified object, right? So or flying object. So. Most likely it's extraterrestrial, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you never know. So, um, yeah, no, no one claimed it to be theirs. So, I don't know if if nobody claims it, then it might have been not from here. I mean, you gotta take into account he could be making this all up. But me or who? I mean, <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, never mind. They they picked up the the pieces. He showed the pieces, right? Yeah, yeah. Huh. It was in the newspaper, so I did see it in the newspaper. Huh. That's actually very uh, believable. I mean, the weirdest yeah. part to me is like the like weird material. Like, what's the thing about like human, like human um, skin material? Material. Or it was like yeah. So it was like um, like rubber strips and really tough paper, and then black sticks. That's what he said. So I don't it's know. Kind of weird. And it didn't resemble the weather balloon materials mm-hmm. at all. So an average weather balloon is like six feet, or back then it was probably like fifteen feet large. Yeah. And this guy said it the the um, where it landed was much bigger. So. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of interesting. <laughs> I like something like that that happened like what seventy seventy plus years ago. Like mm-hmm. I don't know. There's not enough like information and like technology back then to like debunk it or like prove it to be true. Like stuff that happens yeah. now, you see. There's, I mean, there's like CCTV, CCTV footage almost everywhere. So you're like, people are able to debunk these theories and like, I feel like there's less mystery in the world now. There definitely is less mystery, but like yeah, during this sure. time, it's like super up in the air. So like, 
Yeah. I mean, you're never going to be able to go back and like prove it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, nowadays, I mean, nowadays, you know, people can Photoshop anything yeah. and do all that stuff. So that's the that's the main thing that makes me seem like, oh, it's somewhat believable. Yeah. Just because it's way back then and they didn't have that that capability. So I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, there is that part to it also, but. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm bought in on it yet. I mean, it yeah. seems a little like out there. I don't know. I'm not a big like belief. I don't know. UFOs. It seems a little. I, I don't doubt that there's like extra like terrestrial life and stuff on other planets. Like, I don't know about like full like human sized aliens and stuff, but like, yeah, small creatures, but like flying objects like that. Eh. <laughs> not visiting yeah, our planet. I nah. I mean, I just feel like there's never like there's like those planes or like whatever people think they see those UFOs. They're not actually like a UFO. I feel like they're just like some like it's either like debris in the sky or like yeah some type of like object in the sky not like I mean or even like helicopters planes I mean they can be mistaken for all kinds of stuff so okay yeah yeah that's not my most convincing one though okay so I started it off a little easy okay 